Hello and welcome to New Swarm. I'm your host, Chris, with the Krillcast. And today we're going to be talking about the next topic in the pool. This is the 1245 show. This is the second show of the day for New Swarm. We've already covered the PS Now's huge upgrade at 745 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. So second place is the Netflix bought a game studio. If you like the way we cover the news and how we do things on this channel with the podcast, the Let's Plays and everything else, please remember to like this video, comment down below your thoughts on whatever topic we cover, and make sure you subscribe so you're always getting the latest and greatest from the Krillcast. Here we go. So Netflix has bought its first video game studio. Clearly, Netflix is getting serious. But uh, Netflix bought the company, Night School Studio, and they've rolled out five mobile gaming titles in select European markets. The company has said on Tuesday, as it looks to diversify revenue sources amid intensifying competition in the streaming space. Night School Studio, which is the company's first gaming studio purchase, is net best known for its debut game, Oxen Free. Which here's some gameplay of that right there. If you've never seen it before, it's an interesting game to say the least. The full playthrough of this game is just under four hours, as seen on Game Overs, which is this comp- or this uh, channel right here. So there you go. It's got some pretty uh, different art style. A lot of zoom outs. Quite a ways out. But uh, yeah, that's Oxen Free. I almost bought that for the PS Vita when Limited Run Games had a copy of it for the Vita at one point in time. But uh, I ended up not getting it. So yeah, that's Oxen Free. Uh, but of course, everything they've rolled out so far has been mobile gamer related, which is what we expected based on what we've talked about before with the Netflix of gaming, which is not actually the Netflix of gaming. But the company has said earlier in the day that it's introducing Stranger Things 1984, Stranger Things 3, the game, Card Blast, Heater Up, and Shooting Hoops. These are titles on Netflix. Titles on Android to Netflix members in Spain and Italy. Those are the two places. And then also there is the Poland rollout of Stranger Things that are already available. Here's what they had to say. We view gaming as another new content category for us, similar to our expansion into original films, animation, and unscripted TV. We think the time is right to learn more about how our members value games. Now, my personal opinion on this is uh, Netflix diversifying the portfolio from a business standpoint makes sense, but I think they're going about this the wrong way because everybody thinks Netflix gaming means you're going to get game streaming over Netflix. And in reality, that's not what we're getting here. We're getting mobile games that you get for free with your Netflix subscription. I think that's the wrong way to go. I think Netflix would have been a much better option uh, going forward would have been buying like the Telltale Studios, uh, Telltale Studios, Telltale Games Studio and creating more things like the Minecraft Story Mode where you're essentially doing Choose Your Own Adventure and Netflix uh, interactive movies, interactive games, interactive uh, TV series. And that would have been really neat because I think Telltale would have been the ultimate style of gaming that Netflix could have handled under their own business unit with story writing, with uh, the more simplified gameplay of the Telltale series. I just think that would have made more sense. I don't know. But uh, that's not what we're getting. What we're getting is... Uh, mobile games on android only in european countries as a beta test so netflix personally i think what you guys should have done is a choose your own adventure style netflix thing um similar to the telltale series or like dataless games did with the pillars of the earth and that would have been a lot more successful with the audience you already have but in this case you're trying to expand to gaming i don't know if this is going to work for you but good luck so comment down below what you guys think Do you think that Telltale would have been a better acquisition for Netflix? Um, Do you think Netflix should even get into gaming? What are your thoughts on this? Um, Do they sound more serious now that they've picked up their own gaming studio in that they've picked up Night School Studios, the company that created uh, Oxenfree? I personally, I've said this before, I I don't think Netflix should get into gaming, but if they were going to get into gaming, Telltale Games would have made the most sense given that they're kind of in the same line of work. But as always, comment your opinions down below, and I will see you on the next episode of New Swarm. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. And uh, as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.